We are backstage at CMT Fest with... Leah Daniels! Now, for those <laughs> that don't know Leah, we, Leah and I actually have talked previously in her, yes. our, her interviews back up on her site. But um, Leah has a new single out. Can you tell us maybe about your new single and how it came about and how you named it? Ah, well, the song is called Your Kiss is Killing Me. And I wrote it with a friend of mine, Karen Kazowski. She's a Toronto-based producer, songwriter. And at the time, I was falling hard for a guy. Mm. Um, (laughs) Real hard. Mm -hmm. Um, Sometimes that happens, you know? You just get fixated on one guy. And even though it might not be the right thing for you, and your friends might be saying, hey, Leah, slow down, slow down. But, yeah, that's where the song came from, from that... um, yeah. So then now let's let's talk about putting that song together yes. and then, you know, putting together what becomes an album and being an independent. Yes. That becomes a bit more difficult sometimes because you don't have necessarily the big background um, with the big dollars behind to help. Yeah. Um, doing it as an independent creativity is all on you. Mm-hmm. How's that feel? Because I mean, everything you've done, personally, I'm going to tell you up front, is amazing. It looks absolutely Thank amazing. You. I know Tim plays a yeah. big part in, in getting that stuff to mm-hmm. look as good as it does, but maybe just tell us. I'll stop talking. Yeah, you know, it's all good, and you're bang on. Like, yes, I'm independent, but I love it. I love the fact that I get to be involved in every step of the way. I mean, I'm there, yeah, working with Tim, you're, Tim Deegan, who yeah. he does a lot of my videos, directs them, and we work well together. And I'm there building sets or art direction and and doing the emails and I'm I like all different kinds of things but I feel like it's it gives me a greater sense of accomplishment when you know things do happen along the way it's like wow I did that like I was directly involved um, in each step yeah so I've I've learned a bunch the past you know five years but it's good it feels good yeah as an independent I think you know watching independent labels help you know, artists out mm-hmm. as well it, it's kind of really cool but like I follow you on on Twitter, I follow you on Instagram, I follow you on Facebook, and you're very active. And yeah. you know, it's you doing it, and that's the cool part for the fan that's out there watching. It's like this isn't somebody else pushing content out yeah. for you; it's you pushing the content out. So I think you do a great job of that. Thank you, um, thank you let, so much. Let's talk about festival season a little yes. bit. Um, you know, we're at CMT Music Fest here in Kitchener. Um, What's it like to, to get out and play to audiences this large? Because, you know, during the non-festival season, mm-hmm. we're kind of limited to smaller venues here in the GTA. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I love I love doing big festivals like this. Um, I mean, the crowds are always awesome. People are here to party, have a good time. But then also backstage as an artist, it's a great chance for me to meet up with old friends and, and meet other artists that I admire. And you just never know what's going to happen. So yeah. it's, it's cool. And, and I mean, today, Zach Brown is the headliner yeah. tonight. How cool is that? It's really cool. You I'm know? so excited. Yeah. Like, there's so many artists I admire that are here, and it's it's awesome to just be like, you know, grabbing a bite to eat in the catering tent, and you just brush shoulders with them and yeah. get to chat. So it's really cool. So um, maybe let's talk about what else you have lined up for the rest of the summer. Is there any dates that you're really looking forward to that yeah. you, know, you can tell us about? Yeah, I'm playing Festival of Friends. Uh, I think that's in Hamilton area, and it's yeah. great. It's a free show, big festival there. Um, doing some stuff at Blue Mountain. Um, I'm going to be heading out west as well to do some stuff that hasn't been announced yet, but uh, it will, yeah, (laughs) it's coming. So I'm doing a lot of shows in the area, and then I'm going to be starting writing again for uh, next album. Mm Got to keep writing. So, you know, get into that writing sessions. Is it something that you think about uh, all the time and you just, it kind of spur the moment? Or do you really need to sit down and do you like co-writing or do you kind of like to be on your Mm, own? It's funny, when I first started writing I would always write by myself. That's just what I did and then uh, I met a friend of mine who's a great writer, Sam Ellis um, and he was like, you gotta start writing with some other people and I thought, oh that just feels so weird. I'm like sharing my diary with these people but I fell in love with it because you get their input too, their experiences and I find uh, the song actually gets done when you write with someone else. Sometimes I'll write a song and it could be a year before it gets finished, right? Because sure. it's like, oh, I got stuck. So I, I enjoy co-writing with people. Co-writing. So um, with the sessions that you're kind of hoping to, to go, are you going you know, to try to move a different direction? Are you trying to keep it 
the same that you're in? Is there a, a set of time maybe that you're, or a mood that I should say, that you're going to try to put into this next one? Or is that even a thought? You know what? I'm, I'm thinking about all those things right now. Actually, really seriously. Yeah. Like thinking about what, okay, how do I want this next record to sound? And I've been kind of, the way I write is I live my life and then I write about it. So this past year has been like just getting ideas and like yeah. taking, and then I'm going to sit down and, and write. Um, like crazy, so I, I'm excited to see see what happens. I've got some people in mind that I want to write with, so looking forward to it. Cool. Well, thank you so much for doing this. Thank you. Leah Thanks. Daniels, we're at CMT Music Fest here in Kitchener. She's on shortly, Woo. and uh, yeah, thanks so much for doing this. Thank you.